Uh, today we are solving one of the problems in the book starting out with Java and the problem we are currently on is in chapter 6 and the problem number is 8. Uh, this problem is called cache register. All we have to do is to create a cache register class and the class takes a constructor the, uh, the, the class has a constructor that would take a retail item as an as an argument and a, a an integer storing the quantity of the of whatever the person uh, bought. It also has three methods: get subtotal, get tax, and get total. So let's begin. First thing we have to create is a private retail modification this class we created uh, last last video um, so say retail uh, private int quantity uh, that would hold the, the quantity of the uh, of whatever the person buys then we create a a constructor for this class a cash register uh, the constructor takes a retail modification we will call ri and int uh, quantity inside the constructor we have to instantiate um, this class and uh, we will say we will say uh, retail new retail modification and this class has a lot of arguments first it would be the description of the item we'll say candy a bar then it would be the quantity which would be here a quantity then it would be the wholesale a price I will say 0 0.75 then it would be the retail price, which would be 1.5. Then we have to say this, you know, the keyword this refers to the members of the class. Uh, so we'll say this quantity. I'm using this in order to differentiate this quantity from this quantity. So this quantity equal quantity then we have to create the methods the first one is public double get uh, sub total then return the way we can find uh, the subtotal here in my notes uh, we have to use um, we have to use the get retail price from the retail uh, item modification uh, uh, class and then we have to multiply the, the quantity so we'll say retail get retail price times times whatever the quantity is then we have to create a get tax and they, they said the sales tax is six percent whatever the subtotal is so we'll say get subtotal this uh, this is the method that we are calling then time is 0 0.06 which is the decimal uh, equivalent lastly we have to create a get total then we will return get uh, subtotal plus get tax whatever the tax is plus the subtotal uh, would return would give us the total amount that the uh, person has to pay then they said we have you have to demonstrate it in a in a, in a main class um, where you ask the user the quantity that he, he or she is buying so we'll say uh, I will create the main method the SVM and first thing would be the scanner uh, to create a scanner uh, instance to ask the user uh, system.in then 
we have to create a retail a retail modification I will call it item new retail and and then I have to create I have to create a cash register um, instance new cash register the cash register class takes two arguments the first is the uh, retail item object and the second is the quantity which I have to ask uh, the user say uh, quantity and it will say quantity equals scanner next int whatever the user enters it would be passed to the cache register then uh, they said let me give a, a space between the results and the and the class um, we have to print the subtotal uh, the tax and the total so say uh, sub uh, total would be cash register get uh, subtotal then we'll say uh, sales tax um, cash register get tax and lastly we have to create a total amount which would be cash register total get total so let's uh, let's run it and see how we did it they said quantity let's say two as you can see they say subtotal is three the sales tax is uh, 10 cents and the total amount is three dollar and ten cents um, you might be asking where did they get the three dollars they get the three dollars because here when we created the constructor for cash register we said the retail price is one dollar and fifty cents and uh, we had a quantity of two so 1.5 times 2 is 3 right and 3 times is 6% is is 18 is 18 cents um, and when you add 18 cents plus uh, the three dollar which is the subtotal uh, you would pay the total amount of um, of three dollar and 18 cents right let me let me just uh, run it again and and run only one quantity of one as you can see the subtotal is 1.5 or one dollar and fifth cents the subtotal is only nine cents and the total amount is one dollar and fifty nine cents because one dollar and fifty cents plus nine cents of taxes is one point fifty nine so all they all we had to do is this uh, to create a constructor and three methods and demonstrate it for these programming challenges uh, thank you for watching and i will see you for the next day programming challenges which is number nine have a nice day or night wherever you are